Or are you close to 100%? Are you 100%? Is it 97, 98? Give me a percentage. Uh, no, I mean, I'm not going to put a number on it. I mean, I think at any anybody at this time of the year, having played, you know, large amount of games, you're never going to be, you know, truly 100%. So uh, I feel confident and, and and uh, just excited to be able to get the uh, uniform back on here and get an opportunity to play in the playoffs. But if Saturday's game was meaningful in Montreal, you would have played in that game. Yeah, you know, I told I told the coaching staff, I told AV that uh, you know I was ready to go, and and then you know ultimately he you know chooses the lineup and whatnot and makes decisions, and he just felt that uh, it'd be best to give it another another little bit of rest and, and pulled a couple of other guys off for a rest as well and. And, um, you know, I think it'd be good for everybody here. All right. Now, going into this series, do you guys feel com- confident going into the Stanley Cup playoffs? I think our group does. I mean, we, we've had to been, you know, we've basically been pay- playing uh, playoff hockey here for quite a while. And, you know, we had, we've had we talked, we had meetings midpoint of the year on, on, you know, how many points we would need to get into the playoffs and, and what kind of, you know, segments we'd have to go on. Every 10 games was a segment from, from halfway point. And, you know, we played really well down the stretch here and, and uh, I've been fortunate to have, you know, some good chemistry within our lines up front and deep pairings in the back. And, um, you know, I think the, the best part about our team is, is we have some very good depth and, and everybody feels confident in the role. It doesn't matter, you know, who's playing in, in certain situations. Everybody just wants to succeed together. Now, they're going to try to draw you in the penalties, a lot of stuff after the whistle, Ryan. So have you guys talked openly at all about how not to get sucked into their game? Well, like, you know, like any playoff series, you know, you're going to try and get the momentum on your side when you don't have it. You know, and, and you know, obviously there's going to be you know times when we have the momentum, and and uh, we're going to try and hold on to it. And if they don't have it, they're going to try and get under our skin, or uh, or try and draw us, like you said, draw us into taking a penalty. But you know, I have confidence in our group, and, and uh, we've got good veterans and guys that have been in the playoffs last year and the years before, and understand that uh, you know, you got to be able to take a punch sometimes in order to help your team win a playoff series, and, and we understand that, and, and that's what we'll do. Talking with Ryan McDonough here on the Michael K Show. Michael K and Don LaGreca with you. Uh, when you come up through the Yankee organization, the players are pretty much taught that you don't like the Red Sox. And for the longest time, Rangers aren't supposed to like Flyers. Does it still carry over to this day? Well, obviously, you know, I've only been in the league for four years and four years playing in New York. And it seems like, uh, you know, we've had some very big games against you know, Philadelphia, but I've never played them in the playoffs yet in my four years. So, uh, obviously, Winter Classic is a big one and, and, you know, just intense games no matter what point they are in the season against them. So, you know, the HBO series obviously built up a, a, a lot of hype between the two teams, too. And um, But, you know, now this is the playoffs. This is when it really counts. And I think our group is, is really just focused on, you know, trying to, trying to play the right way and, and understand that it's going to be intense. And everybody knows that they have to raise their level, but you know, with our group, we, we want to be able to uh, play with intensity, but also execute in the situations that our coach puts us out there in, and um, you know, just try to get and, and go from there. And do you feel now that if it does end up being that type of a series, Ryan, where it becomes physical and chippy, that if Carcillo dresses and with Dorsett now back and healthy, that you have enough physicality in that lineup to keep everything honest? Oh, I do. I mean, we've got a pack mentality. Obviously, if anything. You know, gets out of hand, or or someone you know you know does something, goes after somebody. You know, we're gonna we're gonna make a stand for each other. But you, you know, we're also you know trying to beat them on the scoreboard, and that's ultimately what our, our focus is. And we've got a good group where um, you know we feel that if we're playing with a high pace and, and using our speed and our skating ability and our, our transition and stuff, uh, you know, we can kind of hold the momentum and, and kind of you know maintain control of the game. Hopefully for you know, more so and, and, and really just try and take off from there and you know, leave the other stuff behind. Is there a difference going into the playoffs under A.V. than there was going into the playoffs under Tortorella? Is the team prepared differently? I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, you know, you, know, you have the same similar meetings where you, you talk about, the, you know, who you're going to play in the series and strengths and weaknesses of the team and where you want to try and expose them. So, um, you know, obviously it's a, it's a very different team you know, at this point than it was last year going to the playoffs. And, you know, our mentality is, is, is to really just try and make good reads with the puck. 
you know, obviously we have some skill and and some ability, and and you know we want to use that when the when the time is right, when the play is there, try to make it. But if there's nothing going on, you know, try not to turn it over, keep it simple, keep the puck moving forward, and and um, you know keep fresh legs out there too at the same time. Now you said you've been here four years, and and for a chunk of that time. You know, Mark Stahl has been banged up and had some health issues. I think he's just playing as great a hockey as I've ever seen him play. Is this the best you've seen him play in the time you've been here? Well, obviously, I think when I first got called up, he was, you know, he was pretty sharp on his game. But, you know, ever since the injury kind of started there, I mean, he has been excellent this year for sure. And, um, you know, really like his old self. And you can tell he's he's confident when he's talking. He's going to the rink and he's excited to, you know, practice and, and work on some things. And, um, you, you know, you don't always see him on the score sheet, but he makes a lot of little plays for us that, um, you know, help us get out of our zone clean or, you know, you know transition the puck up to our forwards and, and keep the play alive for them. And I mean, he makes, uh, you know, continuous defensive stops with his, with his long reach and his physical you know, ability just to, you know, maintain control of the puck. And that's that's your main job as a defenseman is to be strong in your own end and, and get the puck in the hands of the forwards and get up the ice and you can do all three of those things. The thing I find watching the Philadelphia Flyers play at home is the uniqueness of that building. They still think it's 1976. They still think Bobby Clark's their star. I mean, is there a uniqueness to playing at Wells Fargo Center with those fans and just the way they look at hockey differently? Well, you definitely can tell when when you're when you're in Philadelphia that that's a very loud building, and and they they definitely have have grown well at, at feeding off that, and um, you definitely got to weather the storm early there and try and keep the crowd out of it. You know, maybe maybe take a few other seconds to to get in the face off circle, try and slow the play down, try and keep the crowd uh, you know the crowd volume down and stuff. So. Um, we've, we've talked about some things as a group, and, and that's what a, what's good about our team is we have some good uh, veterans and, and guys that have played in that building a lot where you know, you're trying to do little things to help keep the momentum on your side or, or take that away from them and, and keep the crowd out of it.